Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Civilization VI. And today I'm going to talk about an issue that I think has plagued the entire game series, which is single-player politics. And what I mean by single-player politics is when you're playing a game all by yourself and the AI is involved in your decision-making on trades and, I guess, Civ VI, the United Nations version of the game, where you have the United Nations in, in Gathering Storm, and I just think that single-player politics hurts the game more than it actually helps the game. Uh, so first of all, you know, you go to war with someone. Everyone always hates you when you go to war. And then at that point, politics just goes out the window and it, be it becomes a game of chess. Or risk, I guess. Complicated risk, complicated chess. Uh, the other way around is being allies with everyone. There's no... There's no, like alliance thing that, like, let me give you an example. Uh, I have a game where I am allianced with like five people, right? And I've never sent them a trade cart. Well, I have a couple times sent them a trader, but I've made like two deals. There's five people. I've made, I think, a total of two trade deals with them where we just exchange luxury resources. And yeah, there's one guy I sent a couple of trade routes to. And I somehow have five alliances. Like, you're allies. You're not just friends. You can't go to war with each other. You have open borders. You can share visibility. You're allies with each other. You can join a war and it just like, you don't do anything and all of a sudden, oh yeah, we're friends. Or it's easy to make friends in Civ Six, right? So I went to war and everyone hated me. Everyone like denounced me. And I just gave someone 10 horses and a couple turns later they were liking me. Like what? What? And then, don't even get me with the UN politics, all the AI is programmed the same when it comes to politics. Like, they will always, they all unanimously vote. Like, it's weird. Like, let's talk about diplomas, diplomacy points, okay? They all unanimous, like, they all unanimously vote. All of them vote for the same person every time. It's weird. Even if, like, no one's winning diplomacy victory, like, why wouldn't you vote for yourself? Or just try to be a jerk or vote for someone you hate. You know, there's no dynamic policy. Civ V had did dynamic NPC personalities, but, like, you know, like, you're like, okay, this person hates me, so they're not going to pay me what this luxury resource is worth to them. Or this person likes me, so they're going give to give me a better deal. And, you know, it's just really hard... They're easy to manipulate politics because the NPCs, they don't, like, they don't have dynamic politics. They don't have randomized personalities to the point where their politics change. You know, they don't have, they don't really have any dynamics to them, you know. Uh, they will always, in Gathering Storm, now I'm not taking a political side here because Gathering Storm is a little bit dodgy, but they always either hate the environment or go to war with you, not go to war, they hate you for hating the environment. There's no like, this person likes the environment, this person dislikes the environment, this person kind of sort of cares, this person's neutral, you can bribe them, like you can't bribe them to vote for you. Or like you can't bribe them to your political side. You, you can't be like, hey, I'm on an island, you need to stop global warming, I'm gonna bribe you to it. You can't do that in single player. You know, and granted, they're, you know, they just have to make a bunch of options. But, yeah, it's just, like, multiplayer politics. Like, if I'm playing, and I don't care who wins diplomacy victory, hey, highest bidder, send me your gold so I'm a vote for you. You know, that's totally what I would do. Or, oh, you want, I'm trading with you, and you want this trade route bonus. I'm sorry, I don't get enough gold out of it. Pay me more gold, you know? Or, oh, you have oil power plants. Well, you know, I have this this coal I can sell you. It'd be very beneficial if you swapped the coal. Bribe me so that I, you know, bribing! Bribing is a thing that you could should be able to do and humans could do it to each other, but not the AI, you know? So I think, you know, it doesn't have to be a super complicated dynamics where they, like, try to map the human brains, so the AI works like a human. But when it comes to single-player politics in Civilization VI and all the Civ games, it really 
doesn't... It's not as advanced, it's not as far along as I wish it could be uh, as a player. A lot of my games, you know, just... It's the same politics every time. The same... Just the same thing, you know? It's, it's not fun to me because it feels like politically uh, in the game, it's always the player versus the AI. All of them, collectively, even if they're your allies. And I don't like it. I just think that it, you know, it, it turns the game into a game of risk. Uh, you know, it takes the game and simplifies it when it really shouldn't be that way. But like I said, a multiplayer, I mean, it's great for multiplayer, right? All the things you can do to people, bribes gone wrong, accusing people of bribes, like all sorts of things that could happen. And I love it. I love that multiplayer just adds so much. I could see it adding, you know, so that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a comment below. Do you dislike single-player politics just as much as I do? I, I hate them so much. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.